Is ancient astrology actually based on the celestial bodies we know now? Sovereign Realm Tripper. That's a really good question, and I'm going to have to tell you no. I'm going to tell you why. The star patterns that we have for the zodiac symbols today do not match. They do not comport with each other. It takes a lot of stretching the imagination to get you to see Orion the Hunter, to get you to see a lot of these, uh, to see a scorpion, to see a Taurus, to see Aries, to see uh, Gemini in the scales. These are the concepts that are attached to those areas, of, those regions of the sky. But the zodiac is pre-pole shift. Meaning the star patterns that we that we assign today are different than the ones when the zodiac was originally developed. So, uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's that's. It doesn't mean the science is not is not accurate. It it means we're looking at an entirely different region of the sky. Even the even the Great Pyramid Complex is today when it used to be when it was built. At Giza, it was at zero degrees longitude, zero degrees latitude. It was the Axis Mundi. It was the tree of knowledge of good and evil. It was the book of life. It was all these concepts to the ancients. Not so no more. It's now 30 degrees north latitude, north of the equator. It wasn't when it was built. So that 30 degrees right there would have shifted the ecliptic to show totally different stars that then are on our zodiacal belt today. So I don't, I can't that's something I need to I get further into. I go a lot into astrology and the meanings of the individual stars in each constellation. A lot of that uh it's another book. I never really push it. Uh I should. My publisher is always on my ass about that type of stuff. Well it used to be. We're not really communicating a lot. We just sent emails out last week but uh Return of the Fallen Ones is a book about the pre-flood world. It's probably the only book in the world that has that much data about the pre-flood world, aside from my unpublished Chronicon. But uh, Return of the Fallen Ones is, is a book that I break it down. I got chapters and chapters full of uh, the meaning of individual stars and the constellations and what they mean in tandem with, with each other and all that. Because... Uh, the book is focused on an astrological interpretation of events of the apocalypse based off the astrology that is found in the book of Revelation. So, I hope that answers your question a little bit.